Tractors made at Fargo's Case IH plant are heading to Antarctica. As Kevin Wallivan explains, the tractors have to be specially modified to run in the punishing conditions. For 20 years, Case has won contracts to build and modify its quad tracks for the scientists and teams that need them to conduct research and more in Antarctica. They're definitely critical. The, the tractors will be used for a number of different operations. The, the primary usage will be runway maintenance. They will also be used for transporting these large sleds, as you mentioned, pulling things such as fuel bladders, uh, supplies, general equipment from site to site. And it's not just tracks that need to get modified for Antarctica, but things like hydraulics and hoses. It underwent all these changes here in the Fargo area. There's actually some additional retrofitting that's being done at a dealership in Tasmania, south of Australia, prior to them being sent to port. While the tractors are usually shipped by sea, a military C-17 has been used in the past to transport a case tractor, all 65,000 pounds of it. And for the plant workers here in Fargo, a lot of pride in what has rolled off their line. Had to do a deep freeze, to be a workhorse in Antarctica. There, there was a lot of hard work and dedication put in by, by numerous groups within the Case IH organization across the globe and, and to see everyone come together as one team to, to meet the needs of this specialty customer was really rewarding. The Case IH tractors will begin working in January. After the modifications, each tractor costs just over a million dollars. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.